For ACSports.com, I'm Austin Gwynn alongside Parker Wentz talking some men's basketball before their final game against Incarnate Word on Saturday. Parker, it's there's no getting around it. It's been a tough year. Um, but you guys have had some good wins. Uh, mixed in there, you've played well against teams like TCU and Maryland. Um, so as we go into this final game of the year, how do you evaluate this season for you guys? Um, I think just going to this last game, uh, we just need to go out, play as hard as we can, and get a win, like Coach is, is saying. Um, I think I think this year there's been some ups and downs, like you were saying. Um, I mean, we have obviously had some injuries and, and uh, just some adversity, but uh, I think I think that's part of a basketball year, and I think how you handle that is uh, tells about your team a lot. And uh, so I just hope this last game we go out and uh, give it all we have. And you mentioned the injuries uh, to Ladarian and then Harrison being out. Um, talk about the role you've had to play because now you've shifted from two guard to the point mm -hmm. and um, you've kind of taken on a bigger role scoring. You're leading the team in scoring right now. So talk about how your role has changed and how you think you've performed in, the, in that new role. Uh, I think uh, just as it's a big change. You know, there's a lot more uh, – a lot more energy you have to put in being point and um, getting other people the ball and and uh, trying to run the offense and execute and um, I think I think it's it's gone it's gone okay obviously I turn it over a lot so I need to work on that but um, there's just uh, uh, I mean for the most part I think everyone stepped up because it kind of puts everyone in a different role um, you know moves people around and uh, so I think I think I think it's been okay but at the same time you know. Uh, gelling and and getting everyone to play on the same page has been hard too so and you guys played incarnate um less than a month ago mm -hmm. in, in incarnate in san antonio and you guys had an eight point halftime lead mm -hmm. they ended up outscoring you by 20 in the second half to win by 12. Um, what do you guys have to do to be able to keep those leads something that also happened this weekend against mcneese in the game you lost in overtime where you blew a late lead so what do you have to do to if it happens again this weekend here at moody to hold that hold that lead late, uh, I think just to keep our edge. Um, I think sometimes we get comfortable with uh, uh, with a lead, and then we don't play as uh, like we're like on attack, and we uh, we play more defensively and and not or more timid. Um, I think if we play on attack for 40 minutes, it'll help us. And then that just uh, when you're when you're playing uh, aggressively, then you know you don't you're not worried about so much about getting tired, and because obviously we're short legged, but. Um, I think I think just being on attack is the main thing. Obviously, no playoffs this year, so this is it for you guys. Does that give Saturday's game against Incarnate some extra intensity? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's our it's our last game, so we want to go out there and perform the best. Um, we've we've played all year, you know. I think it's an, a, another opportunity to go out and uh, just play your hardest. And um, I think it's an awesome op opportunity to play at ACU. So. Well, that game will be on Saturday here at Moody Coliseum against Incarnate Word right after the women's game. It should be around 3 o'clock, so come out and see the Wildcats one more time, led by sophomore guard Parker Wentz. I'm Austin Gwynn for ACUsports.com.